Hello! So today I've got one of the big questions for you, and that's top box or no top box? Now, I'm sat on the fence with this one because I love the convenience of a top box. I love the fact I can lock my things in there and walk away from the bike. But at the same time, I hate riding with a top box. It unbalances the bike, it puts me off leaning into corners, and I find they just look generally horrible. Especially on my bike, which is a super sports bike, having a, a 55 litre top box almost looks insane. But uh, for me, it's very convenient, and luckily it's also detachable. But uh, I want to know if you prefer the top box, or you're completely against the top box. Like I say, I, I love the convenience of it, and how practical it is, and for camping and carrying all my things, it's, it's an absolute lifesaver. It saves me strapping everything down, it saves me messing around with uh, cargo nets and things. But uh, when it comes to riding, it really takes away a lot of the experience. Obviously, the straight roads, you don't really notice it. And if you've got a pillion on the back, then you're even less likely to notice it because you haven't got the big space of wind resistance between you and the box. So uh, this is only a very short vlog today because I'm, I just want to know your opinions on uh, whether you're top box people or no top box people. Obviously, the opinions are going to vary greatly on this one because uh, if you're a track day person, then of course, you're going to probably really hate the top box idea. And if you're a long distance tourer who's traveling all across Europe, you'll probably love the idea of the, the top box and you use one all the time. So let me know what type of bike you've got and whether you use a top box or whether you don't use a top box and why you don't use or use a top box. So uh, I'm going to really look forward to your comments on this one. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next vlog.